Welcome to Go For The Dough, your local television game show here. I'm your host, Jonathan Goodman. We've got a couple of things to explain for Go For The Dough, a couple of points here. We've got a round board where we, our contestants here, Team Cheese and Team Pepperoni, are going to choose their categories. The four categories are arts and entertainment, nature and technology, sports and industry, uh, excuse me, sports and hobbies, and place and events. Now, the question must be read in its entirety. If you buzz in before, you are disqualified, and that question goes immediately to the other team. All right? Um, let's see here. And if incorrect, passes also to the other team as well. If no team scores, uh, the points go into the oven, which can be claimed later in the show. All right? Let's meet our teams. All right? We're going to start with Team Cheese over here. We've got Miss Janet Bramer here. Now, I understand you've been here in Hastings for 31 years as a dairy farmer? I have. And you write a blog. Tell me about your blog. It's a blog all about dairy farming and what we do on and off the farm. So do you, you kind of occasionally post moos, did I understand? Yes, moos and reviews. Moos and reviews. All Absolutely. right, and then we have uh, daughter Sarah here uh, as well. Is an eighth grade teacher, English teacher at the Hastings Middle School. Also, I understand a Pez collector. Yes, I have. Um, let's see, I just ordered some more yesterday, <laughs> so now I'm closing in on 1,400. 1,400 Pez dispensers. Yeah. And do we know how many sugar calories are in each of those Pez dispensers? Don't eat them anymore. Okay, good. That's good. We've got to keep the teeth pearly yellow. Well, good luck in the first round. Okay, guys, we're going to come over here to Team Pepperoni, where we've got uh, Marissa Colmer over here. Uh, understand that you go by String Bean by your family. Yep, that was the early family nickname that I got from them. You grew into it, so to say. Yes. Okay, yep. good. Oh, yeah. Now, you also work at Emily's Bakery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, let's see, I, I heard you have a very strange, uh, stupid human trick where you can flip your tongue. I do, yep. Can we see that? Are you ready for this? Yeah, we're ready. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, that would, freak, ways, that would freak a teacher out, absolutely. It, it would, it did. <laughs> yeah, and Joran, looks like you like to play music, uh, playing magic, excuse me. Yeah. Climbing trees, mm -hmm. reading books, hanging out with your friends. The one thing I want to know is you want to meet Blackbeard. I really do. Why? I mean, he just seems like an interesting guy. You know, I, I can't grow much facial hair myself. I feel like, you know, he probably has a good time. You know he has a good time. Oh, oh nice. Excellent. Well, we've met our two teams. We've got Team Cheese and Team Pepperoni. We're going to get right into the game. This first round, we've got those four, uh, four categories, and those will actually be 50 points apiece. Uh, and uh, you guys ready to play? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's play Go for the Dough. All right. So beforehand, Team Cheese flipped, and you guys get to choose. We have Places and Vents, sure. Arts and Entertainment. Team, nature and technology, sports and hobbies. We would like arts and entertainment. Okay. What section? The first one. Okay, On what TV know. show did Dwight turn his beet farm into an agro-tourism destination <coughs> called Shroot Farms? Oh, was that too early? That was too early. <sighs> what is the office? That is correct. <laughs> correct. Good job. Wait, wait, wait for soap. it to finish. All right. So now you guys get to choose. What do I do? Keep going with that. All right, uh, same category, question two, please. Arts and entertainment, all right. What is the name of Sherlock Holmes' smarter brother? Mycroft. Correct, excellent, good job, all right. Here we go, and? I guess we'll keep going, question three. Well done, all right, Jordan, here we go. What sentence featuring two animals is famed for using every letter in the alphabet? Oh, Team Cheese. Too soon? Okay, I was worried. <laughs> uh, do you want the? Team Pepperoni. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. All right, so that means our, those 50 points go into the oven, perhaps maybe caught at a later time. <laughs> Team Pepperoni, you guys chose last time. What would you like to do? Uh, question four. Question four, all right. What kid's books <laughs> hero fights for truth, justice, and the pre-shrunk and cottony? What? We don't have a question. question. It's all right, I read it. Who is Captain Underpants? That is correct. All right, <laughs> excellent. All right, so we have now gone through all of the arts and entertainment section there. Uh, it looks like we, the oven has 50 points, and uh, Team Pepperoni should have some, as well as cheese as well. We'll get to those in a minute. All right, so we got another category for you guys. Let's, uh, what would you go to? We've got places and entertainment, nature and technology, and sports and hobbies. All you? You're okay, uh, let's do places and events, question one. Places and events, question one. What marks the ceremonial location of the South Pole? A, flag. Um. B, red and white striped pole. C, no, a penguin. You can't buzz in either. He wasn't know. done. All right. I didn't so both disqualified. That means the oven gets a little few more points. I didn't even think about the answers. All right. All right. So now what would you guys like to continue doing? Question two of the same thing. Question two of the same thing. If you order a banger in a London pub, what type of food will you get? 
What is this, sausage? That is correct. All right, 50 points for Team Pepperoni. All right, continue. Can we do places and events, question three? Absolutely. Whose assassination sparked a 10-minute worldwide vigil at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 14th, 1980? Team Pepperoni. John F. Kennedy. That is incorrect. Team Cheese. Do we have to buzz you don't. in? Oh. <laughs> Who was it, John? A beetle. John Lennon? That is correct. All right, 50 Yay. points for Team Cheese. All right, and what would you guys like to choose now? You have control of the board. Nature. Man, that's scary. Nature and technology? Sure. Nature and technology. Nature and technology. Question one. What food does half the world's population subsist wholly or partly on? Oh, Team Pepperoni. Uh, rice? That is correct. 50 points to Team Pepperoni. <laughs> All right. I don't think our buzzers work. Uh, can we do places and events? Question four. Absolutely. Places and events? Question four. What country always leads the parade of teams at the opening of the Summer Olympics? Team Cheese. Greece. That is correct. Yay. 50 points to Team. That is now closed out. All right, so Team Cheese, you still have control of the board. We have two categories left, nature and technology and sports and hobbies. Which would you like? Nature and technology. Sure, yeah. nature and technology. All right, so we've got question two there. What kind of product was advertised in the first ever spam message? A, a dating service, B, a diet pill, or C, a computer? Yes, Team Cheese. B. That is incorrect. <gasps> team Pepperoni. C, a computer. That is correct, 50 <laughs> points. Excellent, all right, and control of the board. We will do question three of nature and technology. All right, what fruit was once called a Persian apple? Yes, Team Pepperoni. What is a lime? That is incorrect. Team Cheese. Tomato? Incorrect. The oven gets a few more points. It's actually a peach. Oh. Not to be confused with Georgia on my mind. <laughs> All right. You still have control of the board, Pepperoni? Question four. Question four. Here we go. In which part of the body are your metatarsals found? Yes, Team Pepperoni. The foot. Correct. Another 50 points. All right. We are now into our final category of round one, sports and hobbies. Apparently, everybody's fearful of that. So you guys have to start us off. Question one in sports and hobbies. What kind of seeds are on top of Big Mac bun? Oh, yes. Team cheese. Sesame. Very well done. Sesame. Open sesame. All right. And so question two for you guys. Here we go. What skiing term comes from the Viennese for small hill? Oh, yes, Team Pepperoni. Slalom? Incorrect. Team Cheese, chance to steal. I don't suppose bunny would be in. Bunny is also incorrect. It is actually small, or mogul. I was going to say small that. Come here with bunny. <laughs> Again, that oven is getting really full of points this time. Points so let's kind of check in before our last couple of questions here. It looks like Team Pepperoni is uh, rocking and rolling with 350 points, and Team Cheese has 150, but the oven is warming up with 200 Whoa, points in there. We man. gotta get that dough rising, all right guys? So last two questions for you, Team Pepperoni. Question three is, which is the only NFL team named after a person? Yes, Team Cheese. The Bills. Incorrect. Oh. Any guess? The Patriots. Good guess, that's wrong. <laughs> all right, he's gonna go into the oven there. We got 50 more points in the oven. And the final question What's for the, round the one. You don't need to know. Oh, what should we do? Okay, it's Cleveland Browns. Oh. Cleveland Browns. Oh, right. Cleveland, everybody's seen Cleveland. Right, I didn't forget it. Sure. All right, so question for you. What condiment is named for the Malay term meaning seafood sauce? Yes, Team Pepper. What is tartar? Good guess, and nartar. Yes, Team Cheese. Your chance to steal? I'm saying soy. Go ahead. Soy? That is also incorrect. It is ketchup. Oh. Oh. Ketchup. Seafood sauce ketchup. All right, well, that's the end of round one. Looking for points here. We've got Team Pepperoni at 350, rocking and rolling. Team Cheese not too far behind with 150. But that oven, again, kind of getting that dough rising with 300 points. We're going to be back right after this little break with, for round two with 100-point questions. See you in a bit. It came. Pop that bad boy in. <laughs> yeah. Please let this work. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
Okay, so we are here with world champion Tetris player Ben Mullen. Welcome back to Go For The Dough, Hastings' only game show. I'm Jonathan Goodman, your host. We're about to get into round two, but first, let's check in with our teams. Team Cheese, you guys got 150 points, getting a little melty in round one. You feel pretty <laughs> confident about round two? Yeah. Oh, much more. Much, much more, yeah. okay, We don't good. have a zero. All right, no, not a zero, that's better. It is easier at home, though. Absolutely, that's what they all say. All right, and Team Pepperoni, how are you guys doing over here? Pretty good, starting yeah. to thaw out a little bit. Starting to thaw out, good, that's good. Kind of getting that nice marbled color in your pepperoni. Yeah, exactly. Yep. That's awkward. That's okay, well, let's go to round two. Let's take a look at the game board. All right, we still have the same four categories there. We've got places and events, arts and entertainment, nature and technology, sports and hobbies. Since Pepperoni, you led last, uh, last round there. We're going to start off with you guys. What category would you like? Uh, let's just start with sports and hobbies this time. Wow, you just yeah. <laughs> get it out of the way. Like right. just That way we don't have to worry about it. Question one, here we go. What chess piece makes an L-shaped move? Team Cheese. The Knight. That is correct. 100 points to Team Cheese. All right, next question, question two, choice. Sure. Question two in sports and hobbies. All right. In which sport do you shag flies? Yeah, baby. Yes, Team Cheese. Baseball? That is correct. Good job. All right, you guys are, you guys are <laughs> Apparently we closing the gap. Brilliant. <laughs> Get that brie, brie. Okay, yeah, let's nice. go to the next one. Got it. All right, question number three for you guys on that one. Does that I'm work for sure. you? Sure, yeah. let's go for it. I'm just directing you there, that'll work. <laughs> From which side do you traditionally mount a horse? Yes, Team Cheese. The right. The right? Incorrect. Okay. All right, Team Pepperoni. I think we gave him that one. <laughs> Left. Oh, very good, very good. Yes, that is the correct answer. 50-50 was that first. I was gonna say behind. Oh, Excellent, God. that would have been we'll for our question four. For that All right, question four in sports and hobbies. What is the highest possible bowling score in a game with no strikes? Ooh. Oh, all right, Team Cheese. Nine times ten, ninety. No. Right. Oh, out of time. Team Pepperoni. Wait, it's two hundred. That is also incorrect. The oven gets that. It's actually one ninety. One ninety was one ninety. No strikes. So strike. You guys are out. All right. So let's see here. Who answered that last question correctly? Team. On Team no one. Team no, no one. I'm just <laughs> going to pick a department here. We're going to go for this one. All right, you guys answered correctly last time. What uh, section would you like to go with? We've got places and entertainment, uh, excuse me, places and events, arts and entertainment, and nature and technology. Places and events. Places Question and events. Please. Question one. All right, here we go. What country is the headquarters of Guinness Beer? Yes, Team Pepperoni. Ireland. Very good. Aye, that's correct. All right, <laughs> next question. Uh, we'll do question two. Question two. Events. Elvis Presley wrote to President Nixon suggesting that he be made a federal agent at large. True or false? Yes, Team Cheese. Is that true? Because they didn't need to do it during the military. True? That is correct. <laughs> I was like, fourth. 100 points to Team <laughs> Cheese. Well done. All right. And control of the board. Where would you guys like to go? Question three. Arts and entertainment. Arts and entertainment. Arts please. and entertainment. Question one, yes. What rock singer named his son Zoe? Yes, Team Cheese. David Bowie. That's correct. Oh. Zoe Bowie. Yay. Never got picked on in school, I promise you that. <laughs> Excellent. All right, next, uh, next question for you guys. Two. Sure. Uh, arts and Entertainment, question two. All right. What author has sold 80 million copies of Fear Street, his second most popular children's series? Yes, Team Cheese. Is that R.L. Stein? Yep, R.L. Stein. That is correct. Another 100 <laughs> points to Team Cheese. You guys are coming back really well now. Looks like we've got Yay, Team wow. Cheese is looking at 650 points, and Team Pepperoni is 100 points back at 550. But that oven, woo, 350 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry. It got bumped up to 400 degrees. <laughs> All right. What question for you guys, Team Cheese? We're on a roll. Let's sure. go with three. Time for number three in arts and entertainment. What <clears throat> animated character is also known as Accelerati Incredibus? Vernimupus, Asphaltus, and Speedipus Rex. Yes, Team Cheese. Speedy Gonzalez. That is incorrect. Why wouldn't it be? Team Pepperoni, you have a chance to steal. <laughs> Godzilla. Because <laughs> he is so fast. 
so yeah. fast. You've seen He's those people very run long from Godzilla. <laughs> they are fat. You can't get away. No, it's actually the Roadrunner. Oh. oh. All right. So back to Team Cheese to choose for your next question. Sure. All right, question four in Arts and Entertainment. To close out this section here, what was the only actual spice among the names of the Spice Girls? <laughs> yes. Ginger? That is correct. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> it wasn't paprika or sage. OK, all right, so you guys have control of the board again. We have nature and technology, as well as places and events left. Places and events again. Places and events, all right. No, we did that one already. Oh, we're all out? No. We're all, we've got three. We've got three and four left. You want okay, three? three? Yes. All right. Which figure of Greek mythology is often depicted supporting the earth on his shoulders? Oh, <laughs> wow. Yes. Team Sorry. That was fast. That was fast. Atlas. Oh. What was that? Atlas. That is correct. Atlas. 100 oh. points to Team Pepperoni and control of the board. We have one left in places and events we'll and it. all of nature and technology. We'll do places and events. Excellent. Here we go. Fourth question in there. Which two tools are depicted on the former Soviet Union's flag? Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. You see, you're hovering, so I got to beat her. Talk she about, literally goes like this. Talk about I just robot. creep. I don't oh, know. you ran out of time. <laughs> Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hammer and sickle. That is correct. That's right, yeah. folks. You come on go for the dough. You've got to make sure you maintain it. All right. Yeah. So we control are here to the distract. board. Control Sorry, the board. We've got one section left. Nature and technology. You guys want to start there? Number one? Yes, please. All right, here we go. What 1990s browser company adopted a dinosaur named Mozilla as its corporate mascot? Yes. Uh, is it Firefox? That is incorrect. Uh, Team Pepper already chance not. to steal. AOL? <laughs> that is incorrect. It is Netscape. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, Dead. all right. Back to control for Team Cheese. Sure. Two. Question two. All right. We just got our hidden <laughs> Hastings question, everybody. All right. Since you're from Hastings, these questions are going to be that much harder for you. Now, here's how we play the hidden Hastings questions. All of the points in the oven are currently up for grabs. Okay. You must now grab your board behind you, as well as your piece of chalk. You will have 10 seconds to write the answer to this question. Now, do not show the answer. Team Cheese, you will reveal your answer first. And then Team Pepperoni, you will reveal your answer. Okay. Whoever gets the correct answer, they get all of the points in the oven, which are currently standing at 600 points. Whoa. Now, if they both get the correct answer, they split them between both of them, okay? Oh, yeah. All right, you guys ready for the Hidden Hastings question? According to the Dakota County Historical Society, how many fireplaces are in the Leduc Mansion? A, 4, B, 10, C, 2, 7, excuse me, C, 2, D, 7. Again, jot your answer down, but do not show it. Just a few seconds left. All right, time's up, Team Cheese. Let's see your answer. B, 10. All right, and let's see yours. A, 4. The Cheese Team gets it as B, 10. Whoa. 10 fireplaces in the Leduc Mansion. <laughs> Thank you, well Mr. Jackson. Well done, Cheese. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Thank you, Spencer. So 600 <laughs> points from the oven awarded to wow. Team Cheese. All right, this? Pepperoni. You're getting a little salami over here. Very. All right. So you've got one. You've got two more questions left, Team Cheese. Where would you like to go in nature and technology? Three. Three. Three works, work, works well. It seems chronological. <laughs> what animal did ancient Romans call a camelopardalis because it looked like a cross between a camel and a leopard? <laughs> All right, well, it's actually called the giraffe. Oh, giraffe. Ooh. All right, so those Wrong points one. back into the oven. We're oh, heating it up. Hopefully, we'll get it to tree fitty pretty soon. <laughs> All right, last question for Team Cheese, actually for both teams, but the last mm -hmm. one on the board. What kind of beam derives its name from the light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation? Oh, yes, Team Pepperoni. What is a laser? What's a laser? That is correct, Team Pepperoni. Good for 100 points. Excellent. All right, so now we're looking at Team Pepperoni, looking at 750 points. Not too bad. Over here for Team Cheese at 1,450 points. Well done, Team Cheese. And the oven, like I said, starting to bubble a little bit over there with 100 points in it for our third round. Come back with us and where our points go up to 150 and we see who takes home the dough. Would you like to be a contestant on Hastings Community TV's Go for the Dough? 
Like Hastings Community TV on Facebook for details on how you can try your hand at the hottest game show in town. Welcome back for our final round of Go for the Dough. Team Cheese is kind of running away with the dough. No, actually the dough, 1450 of the points we've got here. Team Pepperoni, you're looking in at 750 points. What's yeah. your strategy to kind of come back and see if you can overtake the cheese? We're thinking we need more pepperoni everywhere just to cover the cheese. I like it, I like it. Now the cheese stands alone as it is right now. We do have some points in the oven. We got 100 points in the oven. All of a sudden, all the points jump up to 150 this round, okay? So last round, we ended with one of you teams winning the correct answer. Awesome. Well, to stand up for that one, Pepperoni there. All right, so you guys are going to take over. We're going to toss up on the board here all the four uh, categories here. Again, places and events, arts and entertainment, sports and hobbies, as well as nature and technology. What <coughs> section would you like? Places and events. Question one. Good, that was the card I had on top. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question one. What Arizona landmark was misidentified as being in Colorado on a recalled U.S. stamp? Yes, Team Pepperoni. The Grand Canyon? That is correct. 150 <laughs> points for Team Pepperoni. All right. Like a river or something. Oh. And next question. Question two of Places and Events. All right. What did USSR stand for? Yes, Team Cheese. United Soviet States of Russia? That is incorrect. Dang it, I don't know. <laughs> Team Pepperoni, chance to steal 150 points. United States of Soviet Republic? No states. It actually stands for Union of Soviet <laughs> Socialist Republics. Almost. That combo, right? Nothing wow. united was, over there. That was eloquent. <laughs> Nothing united whatsoever. Oh, were any right. of us alive? Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Some of us besides her were alive. But yeah, thanks a lot oh, for I'm that glad one. I'm glad that you're oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Team Pepperoni, your chance. Next question. Question three, places in I like it. What is the only planet in the solar system that has named for a female figure? Oh yes, oh, Team Cheese on the, on the up and up there. Venus? That is correct, Team Venus, 150 points there. All right, so your choice to change categories or continue? Four, finish it? Sure. Four. All right. <laughs> We've Sorry. got our other Hidden Hastings question there. All right. All right. So again, it's an all play. Everybody grab your chalkboard and your chalk pieces. Uh, all right, reminder, you have 10 seconds to write your answer down for this Hastings, Hidden Hastings question. We are not going to reveal it until the question is read. Team Cheese, because you found it, you reveal first. And then Team Pepperoni, you will reveal yours. If we split the correct answer, we split the oven, which stands at 250 points. So Team Pepperoni, what would this mean to you? Uh, 1150. You're right. All right, here we go. The Hidden Hastings question is, which of the following Hastings businesses has the most store locations in town? A, Wells Fargo, B, Super America, C, Duff's Meat, D, Subway. 10 seconds, your clock starts now. Longest 10 seconds ever. All right, so Team Cheese, let's see your answer. T is D is the guess there. Team Pepperoni, your guess is D. That is the correct answer. There are many, many subway stations here, so they split the 250 points. points. Good luck with the math over there, Vanna. I'm glad I'm not doing that. Okay, all right, Team Cheese got that correct and the hidden question, so. Uh, let's see here, let's get the points updated here. Looks like we've got Team Pepperoni at 1,025 points with a little smile under the five. And <laughs> Team Cheese at 1,725. All right, so not too far behind. There's still a lot of time and a lot of questions left. So Team Cheese, where would you like to go to next? Arts and entertainment Art. for one. Brilliant, Ooh. it was the next card up anyway. All right, here we go. Which sci-fi TV series included the regular characters Jordy, Data, and Worf? Yes, Team Pepperoni. Star Trek. The full name, please. Star Trek The Final Frontier. Oh, no. that is also incorrect. Yes, chance to steal 150 points. Star Trek The Next Generation. Excellent, well nerded. All right, <laughs> next question for you. I think we'll just dissed you. No, I didn't. No, I just. That was absolutely no. a compliment. No. It's 2014, no. Janet. <laughs> Being called a nerd is a good thing. All right, oh. continue the board. Excuse me. Question two in arts and entertainment. What three animals are mentioned in the song Home on the Range? Oh, all right. Good. Uh, 
Way to buzz in there at the last second. Team Pepperoni. What are deer, antelope, and buffalo? That is correct. That is a correct answer. Ooh. Buffalo, deer, and antelope, where they roam. All right, so you have control of the board. Uh, we'll do arts and entertainment. Question three. Question three. What woodwind instrument is sometimes called a licorice stick? Yes, Team Cheese. Clarinet. That is correct. Good job, 150 points there. All right. We're getting close to the end of the game here. We're looking at uh, Team Cheese is looking at 2,075 points and Team Pepperoni shortly behind 1,175. All right, control of the board, Team Cheese. Arts and Entertainment, four. All right. Who replaced David Tennant to become the 11th Doctor in Doctor Who? I don't get nerdy with that bad. It's all yours. <laughs> well, oven! <laughs> and the oven gets the points, and it is Matt Smith. Oh, Again, right. for yeah. those in the well, nerds here, I would thought for yeah, sure we'd obviously get that one. All right. Well, control of the board again, back to cheese. Where would you like to go? Nature and technology, sports and hobbies? Nature and technology. Sure. All right, good. You guys are going in great order for the yeah. cards that I have. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Trying to make it easy. All right, question one. What artificial sweetener based on sucralose was introduced in 1999? Oh, yes. Team Pepperoni. Splenda. That is splendid. Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> All right. Control of the board goes over to Team Pepperoni. We'll go for question two, Nature's and Technology. Well done, Jordan. Here we go. All right. We've got what word is both a computer programming language and a nickname for coffee? Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's close. Team Cheese? Java. That is correct. We all needed some Java this morning, right? Yeah, okay. Definitely. Control of the board goes back to you guys. Milk. <laughs> Does a body good. All what, right. Question three, nature and technology. Nature and technology. All right, a multiple choice. What do goldfish lose if kept in dimly lit or running water? A, eyesight. B, color. C, memory. Oh, yes. B, color. That is correct. Another 150 points to Team Cheese. Hoping you'd say that. All right, and uh, what question now? Question four, nature and technology. Question four, here we go. What service relies upon timely signals from 24 Navstar satellites plus four spares? Yes, Team Pepperoni. What is OnStar? That is incorrect. Chance to steal. Uh, GPS. That is correct. You know what it stands for. Global Positioning System. Well done. Yes, that is correct. Ooh, bonus points. Yes, bonus points. <laughs> Extra, Extra cheese. cheese. <laughs> You get to provide your own. You work at a dairy farm. <laughs> All right. Correct <laughs> answer. Sports and hobbies, question one. All right, then. Here we go. What aerobic activity is used for spinning classes? Oh, yes. What is bicycling? That is correct. Bicycle riding is the correct answer, but bicycling with the gerund added continually works. OK, continue, pepperoni. <laughs> can I do question two? Sports and you hobbies. You can, actually. <laughs> what occupation keeps Laura Croft there it is. Last question of the round. What occupation keeps Lara Croft busy when she is not battling video game monsters? Yes, Team Pepperoni. Tomb raiding? Archaeology. Incorrect. Archaeology. That is correct. Team Cheese runs away with 150 points there. All right, and that is the end of round three. So we take a look at the points board there. Team Pepperoni coming in at 1,475. Again, great meaty effort there for you guys. <laughs> we're going to come over here to Team Cheese, who clearly the cheese stands alone, at 2,625 <laughs> points. Therefore, you guys, one go for the dough. Yay! We'd like to thank Green Mill of Hastings for giving you guys Ooh, mm. one large, two topping green mill pizza. Excellent. Congratulations, guys. I said a plural of it. That's right. Well, again, I want to thank everybody for joining us here for <laughs> Go for the Dough, your mill. only game show host here in Hastings. And I want to thank my teams here for doing such a great job, points, as well as all of our people behind the cameras. Thanks, everybody. Come see you next time.